Hey team, welcome back to the True Leon Army Podcast. Today I got my man Coach D, uh, also known as Derek White. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, equality in sports. You know, if if there's an issue with that, should female sports be saved? And uh, Derek, man, just go ahead and shoot and try to, you know, just give me your thoughts on if you feel female sports needs to be saved. Uh, my honest opinion on that is we can't pick and choose. Equality is equality. So, mm-hmm. you know, if a female uh, athlete decided that she wanted to become a male athlete mm-hmm. and, um, you know, with due to various uh, changes in the law, litigations, things of that nature, they are, you know, able to do so. Uh, then, you know, by all means, you know, uh, you don't have to like it, but by law, we, we, we are, you know, it's something that we have to live with. Um, well, I I mean, personally, I think there isn't an issue when it comes to, let's say, if a female, uh, you know, want to transition themselves into a male, perfectly fine. That's not the debate. But if they were to transition to a male and wanted to uh, play in, in a male sport, Whatever it be. Let's just give basketball for an example. Um, my wife and I went to the uh, NCAA game, the Rice State game, the other day. I mean, it, it was actually exciting. They were, they were playing really good. Um, even when we went to NBA game, male games. I mean, they're just exciting. I mean, they're dunking. I mean, they're, 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 they're driving in. And, I mean, again, I don't know a lot of the terms. I mean, you coach basketball, so you mm-hmm. know it well. And, I mean, it just feel like it's a different energy when we see the male teams play versus the female teams. So, if a female were to decide, let's say, to transition to be a male, and then at that point, we'll go by he wants to take part in a male sport. I I don't see that often. I don't see that often. And I don't think that any coach will prevent that male from participating. But at that point, it's equality, right? Because you have to you have to uh, compete with all the other male teams to be on the uh, the other uh, you know what do you call it uh, the teammates to, mm-hmm. to be on the team oh, to be whoever's trying out, mm-hmm. right? So I think the other way around. You know, when it comes to female sports, that if a male decides wants to transition to a female, again, no issue with that. Perfectly fine. Do what you want. If you decide to transition into being a female and then you're able to beat the entire competition, is that a fair advantage for the females? You get what I mean? Because, mm-hmm. you know, naturally, I mean, they're, they're, they have female sports and male sports because... You know, just the the way in which we play is different. Mm-hmm. The, the dominance is is different. I mean, you you can't deny that. Are there a few outliers and females who can compete in male sports? Yes, they're far and few between. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think when when I you know present that? Um, I I would agree with you on that. Uh, just naturally, you know, we've always been told that you know males are stronger than females. So mm-hmm. that's just been. In some households, mm-hmm. something that has always been um, maybe a pillar in raising um, those young people in those households and um, creating the culture in which those young people grow up and pass down to their, their children. So um, I take, for example, I have twin boys, mm-hmm. so I have a daughter. Um, one of my rules is I don't care what happened, you don't ever touch her because mm-hmm. her hit and your hit. Two, two different, different hits. Two different hits, exactly. Yeah. So, um, again, the those same let, – let, let's not get this misconstrued here. Those same rules apply now, even in the sports arena. If I'm running a 400 and I'm running up against um, a female, um, track, uh, track, although there's some different variables, I think track would be one of the things that would be a little bit more – Neck and neckish. I, I agree with that, and and I've even been in the military. Um, they they gave women females more time to run, but for the most part, females were able to run the same exact speed, if not faster, right. as well as sit ups, um, uh, even better than some of the males do. Right. So I, I think that was more of a. I, it, so I agree, it is more contingent based on the sport. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would go with that. Uh, boxing, you wouldn't take a heavyweight male boxer mm-hmm. and a heavyweight female boxer and put them in a ring together. Right. This is not going to happen. But there is a, um, I seen, I think it was an MMA match 
where the uh, it was this guy and this uh, girl who um, and she was a female, and uh, man, she got dominated. Mm-hmm. I mean, because she she was talking all the stuff like you know, and he was like an average boxer at that. Like he wasn't even somebody, but he dominated her. I mean, dominated her. I mean, made her look like she wasn't even in the, in the same sport. Like like he was just boxing a kid or something. And mm-hmm. there's no disrespect to her, but it just showed that an average boxer that really can't compete on a on a level that you know the, the high tier champions do was able to outperform this female boxer who was actually fairly well in the female round. Mm-hmm. So I I just I feel like that I, I seen where Caitlyn Jenner made a point that, you know, we need to prospect protect female sports. And and she was getting backlash. And mind you, she was like the transformative person that came out and mm-hmm. really brought the light into a transgender. And and to me that's it's it's like a sad reality. Like you can't even just make a point that's just obvious. I mean, this this is facts at this point. No mm-hmm. one is debating what you decide to do when it comes to, you know, who you, what sex you decide to be. No one really cares. Right, I don't. Right, right. But you can't deny that there are physical attributes that a male has mm-hmm. that will make him better at a sport than his female counterpart in some areas. And like I said, he was 462. In the NCAA in males, right? But the number one in females, mm-hmm. it dominated. So you know, I have three daughters. You know, um, so I think about let's say if my youngest two, uh, they're at the age where you know they go start getting into sports, and let's say they're competing against males, do I allow it? Do I do I say you don't have a, a an advantage? You know, like do we have to work that much harder to be able to compete? You know, how do you prepare your daughters? If let's say she's playing basketball and she's just getting dominated. Now that's a difference if there's a natural born female who let's just say you're just again, this is an outlier, that you're like super tall, super strong. I mean, and, and there are women like that. So I don't want to sit here and say that, but it's so outside of the norm that, you know, when you see a male who transitions to a female and now is just superior, is just like it goes either way. And and I agree with you said in the beginning, like keep it a quality. Like it should be the other way around. And I agree with that. I feel like, you know, allow more females, I mean, uh, females who become males to go into male sports, just have like a, what do you call it? Like, a, um, can't think of the name, but where you allow like, a, it's like a grading scale, like where, where, you know, like you, you allow a little more room for them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just, just to get like, just so you can see, like, there's a difference, right? You know, like come in here and see how these guys play. Like just see how these dudes dominate, and then you you you'll see it for yourself. If you see, man, I'm not scoring no points. They're all over me. It's a totally different energy. Like mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> when I go to like a, a female basketball game, I feel like it's like, or even if I watch it on TV, it's usually nobody watching it, and and, and it's nothing against them. It's just not as exciting, right? It feel like it's men's basketball underwater or something. It's like mm-hmm. slow down. It's not dunking. It's just it's not yeah. the excitement that we're used Lack to. Lack of entertainment. Lack of entertainment, um, yeah. I, I, I mean, again, I, I couldn't disagree with you on that. Um, I just think historically, um, you know, you got to realize here in our country, you know, men, this is what men do. This is what women do. You go over to, you know, a more of a, I would say, Muslim-backed country where women, you, you are the... You know, you you, mm-hmm. you are you you are in the back. You you're in the in the backlight mm-hmm. where the man walks in first, right? And it's just called culture. Mm-hmm. You know, the customs, different culture. Culture here, you hold the door for a woman, let her walk in. You open the door, you let her sit down. Mm-hmm. So it, it goes in a bunch. It goes into culture. It goes into uh, beliefs. Mm-hmm. You know, so here our belief system has changed. You know, in a way that um, based on how. A lot of us was raised, you know, some of us raised, this is what the household looks like. Mom, dad, children, picket fence, dog, big house. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's formally known as the American dream. The nuclear family. You right. know, mm-hmm. so um, does that exist? I believe we're on the tail. I believe we're on the tail end of that because. Yeah, it, 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 it changed. Yeah, things are changing dramatically, dramatically man. Mm-hmm. So um, I, I, I just can't, you know, I have to be more. Um, in the in a realm of just adapting to what 
um, America calls the new norm. Mm -hmm. Whether I agree or not, the thing is, is I know what I'm going to do and how I'm going to move. Mm -hmm. But I'm mature enough to sit back and watch how everybody else moves. Mm -hmm. You know, even in the realm of this this gentleman, you know, transitioning into a female and going to swim. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you're going to have an advantage. Mm -hmm. um, it, 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 it's just a unique situation that a male, you know, and I think it's one of those type of loophole deals to keep it all the way honest. Yeah. You know, if Trump, you know, have, have filed bankruptcy so many times, but found the loophole, mm -hmm. it, you know, the same thing, you know, this gentleman or this female mm -hmm. found a loophole. Mm -hmm. Hey, I, I, I'm well with it. And due to like, again, the way that laws have been passed, mm -hmm. um, it has opened up that door mm -hmm. to allow this to be okay. So should it be something that female athletes stand up? They, they have like... to. Yes, they have to because um, it, it's affecting them directly because, hey, if I'm number one in this, you know, in this arena, mm -hmm. here it is. I have th this new contender mm -hmm. who is um, someone who's transitioned mm -hmm. into a female. Mm hmm Blows me clean out the water, mm -hmm. and like there's leagues above. Yeah, and there's one spot on the Olympic team in this in this role. I've lost out now. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've essentially lost out. So right. all those nights of you know uh, we always mm -hmm. use the term in the basketball world. You wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Mm -hmm. All those nights I was in the gym putting up shots, perfecting my craft. Mm -hmm. I literally just had the carpet snatched right up from up me. under me, mm -hmm. and. It's completely justifiable. It's completely justified. It's legitimate. It's nothing that I can do about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. This this is an issue that uh, our female athletes are going to have to stand up because this really just opened the door to allow that kid that didn't make the boys' basketball team. <laughs> yeah. To now make the girls basketball team mm -hmm. and kick out a girl and the number one girl, you took her, you took her scholarship potentially. Mm -hmm. That's right. a potential scenario, right? You know, so we no, we, we we gotta we gotta figure this thing out because again, we're taught that this is a female, this mm -hmm. is a male, mm -hmm. but yet, hey. Your plumbing is still intact. Right. Or even if it's not. I mean, some people you know, get that change. Yeah, but, okay. But yeah. I feel like genetically, what genetics wise. Yeah, genetics wise, you like, are going to be faster, faster you're be stronger, stronger yes. shoulders wider, and it just allows an advantage. And and I feel like that if it's a fine line because, you know, it's, it's like, let's say female athletes stand up, right? Mm -hmm. Is that, you know, being transgender phobic? Like, it's not. It's just, it's a. By no means. I, yeah, it's, a, it's an honest thing. Like you said, I'm putting in the work. You know, it's it's like if uh, let's say with men's basketball, and again, mm -hmm. I'm I'm just throwing it out here. Let's just say it was some new species that were to come uh, on the yeah, surface. Yep, yeah, 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 that yep. that that could just jump from one end of the court to, to the, the other end and dunk it. Yeah, you know, and it, it would be unfair advantage. It, any anybody that we looked at the, it would almost have to be an entirely new sport created that would allow for at least a competitive environment because mm -hmm. right now it's it's not competitive it's like if you were to put like a, a sixth grader versus you know my my uh one of my sons is in basketball and he's uh six you know if he's bursting against a sixth grade it's not even fun to watch right right because he's i mean he's getting dunked on he's he, you know they're crossing him up it's it's like it's not even it's not even entertaining right you know what i mean but if this sixth grader were to go against another sixth grader he can't handle it mm -hmm. he's i mean he's getting dominated he crossed over and mm -hmm. You know, and 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 it's it's like that's not asking for much. That's not even. It's just examine it. Just examine it. You know, really get the females athletes because I feel yeah. like they're the ones who really should. Um, we should hear their voices. Yeah, there, there definitely has to be a um, issue that our female athletes stand firmly and united on to say, "Hey, wait a minute, and you, you got this male over here." No disrespect, right. but that's why I say to your plumbing change. Right, I'm, I, I, I'm a male by by gender mm -hmm. and, and and by birth because I have 
this this particular sex organ. Mm -hmm. I'm a female because I have this one. So until you commit to the whole change, you're a male. But I'm just saying, even you if know, they commit to the to the change, I, so on the inside, that, right? I get what you're saying. So genetically, that's a different. You know, I, I'm referring to like the the, the physical attributes, yeah. like the, the muscles, the, the muscles. Yeah. The, the, I mean, like the legs and the wide shoulders. And, I, and I'm just using this in, with reference to the guy who's swimming. Yeah, that's usually an advantage. If you look at yeah. Michael Phelps, his body type was a true advantage to him winning. Yeah. And, and, and again, it's not taken against how well he how well he uh, worked hard and did all that. I mm -hmm. mean, it was he worked hard, but he still had an advantage with his body type. I, I agree, but see, the points that I'm making is what you're going to come up against when you argue this, because mm -hmm. this is going to be an argument. Mm -hmm. we're, we're just at the we're, we're not at even, we're not at a breaking point yet. Number it's it's one, going to get there. Yeah, number one is always special. Yeah, number one is always special. Mm -hmm. Like take Caitlyn Jenner. Number one is always special. Caitlyn Jenner is going to be special for so many different reasons. Right. Former track star. Then you, you tie in the Kardashians, mm -hmm. so just that that dynamic, Bruce Jenner, that dynamic in general, like mm -hmm. you know, always gonna be a special situation. Mm -hmm. This is um, right now in the stage of being a special situation. Mm -hmm. Once the numbers grow, and the right individuals' children are going to need to be affected first. I I can see that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because uh, take take the the um, uh, celebrities, uh, I believe they were paying for their um, kids to go to the kids to go to certain schools or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. It took for the right people mm -hmm. to to be caught up in that for it to be become a thing. Like, wait right. a minute, hey, let's look at this. Right, you know, a lady in Cleveland got jail time because she used a different address for her child to go to a better school district. Mm -hmm. I believe she received time for that, mm -hmm. but again. That was kind of one of those uh, one-offs. Okay, I, this happened. All right, yeah, more at 11. Mm -hmm. But you didn't get any more of that story at 11, not, not unless you went and read it. Right. Once this enters into the realm of celebrities or uh, the 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 uh, people, you know, the, the big names, big wigs, the who's who's mm -hmm. in the world, mm -hmm. then it becomes, well, I paid X, Y, and Z for my daughter to take, you know, swimming lessons since she was three. Right. Just for her opportunity to be taken from her. Right. Now now it's going to become a thing then. And, and, and here's the thing, too. There's so many ways you can look at it because, like you said, let, let's say they ran it since they were young. And they they reach a point where they feel they deserve it and they don't get it. It's hard to accept that loss mm -hmm. because you're looking at the obvious advantages this other person has that... Technically, they wouldn't be allowed to compete if mm -hmm. they didn't decide to turn transition. I love so, that point. Yeah, so it's hard to even because it's 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 like it's easier to be like, man, I worked my ass off. That that person earned it, man. They they earned it. They're a good player. Now I want to motivate me to be better, be stronger, stay in the gym longer. But it's hard to accept that if there's no possible way for you to attain. And again, it's not like. Like, like, let's say I can't be taller. I'm naturally genetic tall, but there most men who get in a particular sport of basketball are usually tall. Mm -hmm. So if you happen to be a short player, let's say like was it Muggsy Bugs? You know, you worked hard, you did all that. He didn't complain like, oh, I'm not tall enough. He, he right. was able to, he, web, Muggsy, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. He, said, he was able to work hard. Mm -hmm. But I guess the point I'm making is, is that it was an equal playing. It field. was an equal playing field, you know. But it if was, you look at like let's say with women, and if let's say. 99% of y'all are within this bucket and you have this 1% coming in that's dominating it. But they they couldn't dominate their sport. Right. They couldn't dominate it when it was the men. I mean, they, they, they weren't even they weren't even average at best. Yeah. It, 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 so the playing field, playing field changes dramatically mm -hmm. because you're going, it's like, like you said, it's like an eighth grader playing with sixth graders. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going to the, they, they, they drive into the bucket, getting blocked. Right. Getting these shots blocked, getting dunked on, crossed over, mm -hmm. getting this pushed out the way, because mm -hmm. you're you, you can't handle the physicality that this person is bringing right. during the course of that game. Mm -hmm. So the playing fields are so unlevel, mm -hmm. and that's what this is. This is a great example of playing fields being unlevel. 
the sport just happens to be swimming. Yeah, I mean, and like I said, I mean, and, and I doubt we'll ever see a situation where more females who decide to become men will ever go into men's sports. Like going to football, I dare you. And see, and the reason why we have yet to see, see that it. on a professional level mm -hmm. is because the physicality of it, mm -hmm. just the, the 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 muscle growth, just the the overall performance mm -hmm. of those athletes and how they uh, how they evolve. Mm -hmm. You know, guys that are built like us can go into the league and next to, and, and look like a gladiator. Mm -hmm. No matter how strong a female gets, mm -hmm. it's just that playing field, you know. And I've seen some really strong females. Oh, for sure. You know, and that's not to discount the the female gender in any way whatsoever. No, I mean it's just the that, that this is science, right? It's science. Mm -hmm. That's all this is. Is and genetically speaking, th th this book this would break down mm -hmm. to the to, to the, the, the the scientific piece mm -hmm. in the human genetic makeup. So really, just to touch back, until more female athletes stand up, until we get the correct situations, like let's say more situations of this happening, it probably ain't gonna change. No, 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 no time soon. Yeah, it's not gonna change any time. Soon, because then you have the political piece. You know, it's not going to change anytime soon, mm -hmm. because there, there's another piece of this, which is the poli the political side, mm -hmm. and that is a, a even bigger monster in itself. So this thing is rooted in so many different mm -hmm. directions. It's starting to unlayer, man. Yeah. I mean, like, I just feel like that we we have to stand up. You know. As far as like standing up for our women, standing up for our daughters, mm -hmm. standing up for our wives, standing up, and it is not that they're defenseless. It's 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 just basically giving a voice. It's basically just communicating the obvious. You know, we have male and female sports for a reason. We separate it for a reason. Mm -hmm. And and now that we're starting to see an imbalance, and and it's like, do we do we then come up with the sports to say? Okay, if you decide to become transgender, this is this is a new league or a, a different. I mean, because it's it's like, or you could just compete. Because if it's okay for, let's just say, if you decide to, be, if you're a male, you decide to become a female, right? Why not just stay in the male sports? Mm -hmm. I mean, just stay in the male sports. Like, like now, now you'll be a female, and you can, you know, still dominate, whatever. It's like right, it's cool, right. you know, like, or should the requirements not be male or female based it should be based off your physicality you know what i mean maybe different definitions because if you meet a certain physicality level it, it just doesn't make sense for you to be in this particular sport because i mean to be 462 guy in, in in the ncaa for men's um you know swimming and then you're number one now on women like to me personally i don't feel i could accept it Mm -hmm. I, I feel like it's, it's like I said, if I was literally versing my son in basketball and I make the basketball, I don't take pride like, hell yeah, man, I just dunked on your ass. I'm, I'm going all over you because I know there's so many people that could dust me, mm -hmm. but I won't verse them. I'm, I'm versing you right, know, my right. child. And it, it's such an imbalance to, to, to see that, man. It's like, I don't even know why this is a fucking debate. I don't even know why like this, this should even be a conversation. But it's just sad that I see like these female athletes that was working their asses off, who who are really good, who could beat me if I were to jump in the pool right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. You know, if I were to be in sports, yeah. I'm I'm not, you know, I'm not trained in it. But the the male counterparts who train in it, unfortunately, just have the natural physical advantage. So mm -hmm. I'll close with this: like I say that you know if, if change change has to happen, dialogue has to happen, so we can understand that. At some point, something has to change. Right, like, right. And like Coach D said, until more instances where, you know, uh, the number one spots are constantly being taken, scholarships are being taken, um, you know, they're not being looked at. And it's like, you know, um, maybe that's what it's going to take. I, I don't know. I mean, with all my videos that I make, it's an open discussion dialogue. Hopefully, at some point, you know, people wake up and change. And I, I side with Caitlyn Jenner that female sports need to be protected.